Preparing to surface. 我最早接触潜艇是在很小的时候，然后就对潜艇有无限的幻想，幻想有一天我也能到潜艇里边去，去跟着他们出海。它可以在水下待很长时间，它一直是一个很神秘的一个角色，在战略方面有很大的那种威力，给敌人致命一击。These cadets are working on diving for search and rescue. These are basic skills that every submariner needs. 潜艇失事是非常致命的一个一种事故。潜艇失事之后，然后确定位置，然后潜水员下去。观察这个潜艇破损以及失事的情况，然后再通过各种方式去将艇员救出。如果说没有信号员的话，潜水员在水下就失去了与水面通联的一个方式。All、well, these cadets are selected from a pool of volunteers. Serving on a submarine would be their dream come true, but before taking the plunge, they need to pass through simulator training with all external and internal pressures. The PLA Navy Submarine Academy has a history of over six decades. It's the cradle of China's underwater force, training more than 80% of its sailors. Cadets must also learn how to escape from a damaged submarine. It's unlikely to happen, but their survival depends on it. They need to get through this narrow escape tank, a duplicate torpedo tube. It's the only exit once a submarine fails to surface. The exercise is designed to push cadets to the limit. Tibetan的那种声音，靠我的手和脚，手往前拔，脚往前蹬，只能靠这一点。在这种情况下，人精神，包括心理，会发生很大的变化。真实的作战环境下，海水肯定是非常的冷，而且肯定会特别的黑。参加过这个训练，我会大概了解一些，就是艇员员在爬这个管内心的一些感受。我们要严格按照操作卫生来。Submarine accidents do happen in many navies, including China's. The training is designed to prepare sailors for the worst case scenario. 呃，培训这个技术难点的话，关键的还是在于什么？这个损害场景的模拟。其实实际潜艇的这个发生损害以后，比这个我们这个呃要复杂的多。这个的话，对于每每一个潜艇艇员的话，他是必须要掌握这样的技能。其实他不完全是保住自己艇员的这个生命，主要的是保住潜艇。The same principle applies to training in plugging, though it is more directly targeted on reaction in an emergency. 那么一旦发生损害以后，我们主要是什么？要限制损害的蔓延，使这个损害它的影响以及它的后果。水力水的压力非常大，有感受到一丝紧张，包括有惶恐。In actual combat, what's needed is not so much escape skills. As courage and knowing what to do. Ah, 只有团队合作，一个人，我觉得办不到这件事情。They know they are training for the worst, but the real ordeal comes after graduation. Han Bin, CGTN, Qingdao.